Welcome to the Word Weaver podcast, a literary place in cyberspace where I share tangible tips, tricks, and words of wisdom to help you achieve your dream of writing a book. I'm your host, Louise Johnson, a writer and the author of Behind the Red Door. Let's dive into today's chapter. Hello, and welcome back to the Word Weaver podcast. I hope everyone is having a great day. On today's episode, I want to talk to you about the rule of three. Now, you might have heard of the rule of thirds when it comes to photography. It's a trick that photographers use to set up the frame. But rule of three is something that comes up often in writing, and there are many ways that it relates to your story, but particularly today, I want to talk to you about how you can incorporate the rule of three to write compelling characters and then raise the stakes and the tension in your novel. So really quickly in general, what is the rule of three? So the rule of three is a writing principle, and it's based on the idea that human beings, us human creatures process information through pattern recognition. And this is absolutely true. Humans are programmed for routine and for pattern. So three is the smallest number that allows us to recognize a pattern in a set. If you only have two, that is just a mere coincidence. It's not yet a pattern. But if you see something three times, it's the smallest number that allows us to recognize a pattern. That's why three can help us craft memorable phrases, compelling characters, and compelling stories when it's broken into three. Structural tool in your writing, and you see this all the time, and you've heard about it many, many times, I'm sure, the three-act structure. Act one, act two, act three. This is where the rule of three comes in to play most commonly. And then it's also used... At the word level, you'll hear a lot of book titles in like The Three Little Pigs, Three Billy Goats Gruff, The Three Musketeers, and a lot of time in prose, things will be repeated three times for emphasis or repeating word phrases or patterns that sound similar. Comedians also use the rule of three to craft their jokes. They'll have the setup, then they'll build anticipation, and then they'll deliver the punchline. One, two, and three. Now that you've heard of this, you'll start to notice it in all of your favorite movies and all of your favorite books. You will see three everywhere. And it isn't a complicated concept. It's a really nice reminder to have if you're currently working on a fresh manuscript, if you are in the drafting and outlining phase. I sometimes forget about it and I saw it recently and it really helped me to flush out my characters. And that's why I wanted to hop on the podcast today to share this little writing prompt that I recently remembered. It's using the rule of three to keep raising the conflict and tension when it comes to writing compelling characters. So for any good story, the conflict and tension usually comes from the characters struggling to achieve a goal. And where this rule of three comes into play is you. there should be at least two unsuccessful attempts for that character to solve a problem before the third one is successful. Again, sounds super simple and straightforward, but in one of my early drafts, I was realizing that for my main character, I had created one struggle for them and then they pretty much by the end had achieved their goal. There was only one little hurdle in the middle. And coming across the reminder to use the rule of threes prompted me to flush out at least two unsuccessful attempts, and then they can successfully or hopefully redeem themselves and achieve their goal by the end. So it was kind of a bit of an aha moment. I felt a little stupid that I hadn't thought of this or done it in my outline, but hopefully you can incorporate it into your character arcs or your character profiles before you come to the actual drafting stage. So basically, I encourage you to take out a piece of paper, divide it into three sections, and sketch out two in the top two sections, two scenes or scenarios where your protagonist or one of your characters 
is trying to achieve their goal and they fail. And how can they fail spectacularly in two different ways? And if you can, it's even better to have your second failure, your second unsuccessful attempt to be even more dramatic than the first. And that's how you slowly pace out your tension and your conflict. Your stakes continue to rise with each unsuccessful attempt. And then at the bottom of your page, the third quadrant, you write out the scenario of how they achieve it successfully. If you are a cue card or index card user like I am, you could also take three different cue cards and in your outline create two situations to take your character further away from where they want to be and then one event where their situation improves. Short but sweet episode for you today, but something that was really helpful for me very recently in drafting a novel. So I wanted to make sure that I hopped on here while it was fresh in my mind to share it with you in case this is a helpful reminder or tip at any stage of your writing process. And it's the rule of three, humans love pattern recognition. So that is all I have for you today. As always, you can find the show notes at louiseclairjohnson.com slash podcast. You can follow us on Instagram at wordweaverpodcast. And until next time, bye.